Hey, what's up, people? Man, the news and rumors just keep flowing, huh? <laughs> you know, mostly around what could potentially be coming to the Nintendo Switch, because regardless of what some people might say about the hype of the Nintendo Switch dying down, which you know, we know is utter nonsense, all I'm going to say is prepare yourself for the rest of 2018, because we're all going to be poor again. I can feel it. Mark my words. <laughs> but you know, but anyway, there's been plenty of news of late, rumours and supposed findings that Namco are the developers of Metro Prime 4, something I'll talk about in my next video, and I believe I also read that Monster Hunter World has sold around 6 million units already and is supposedly Capcom's fastest selling game ever, which if true is uh, is a great success for them, You know, as there's no doubt in that Monster Hunter World looks incredible and the only thing that's stopping me from getting it on my PS4 is that I'd have to sign back up to PSN, <laughs> you know, something I still can't bring myself to do, but you know, I played Monster Hunter loads on the Wii, the Wii U and the 3DS and you know it has a strong single player game so I could still dip on it soon if I want. But anyway let's quickly get into a few stories that have got my attention recently. Take 2 recently had some things to say about the Nintendo Switch where they talked about the games that they've released on the platform so far and how they decide on when they believe these uh, there's opportunities on the console. You can see the full statement on the screen right now, but once again I'd like to talk about the last sentence of this statement where they quote, We are impressed with the growth, we're impressed with the units that have been sold in the market so far, we're very sanguine at this point, but we've nothing more to announce specifically at this point. Now then, for me, you know, you can look at this in two ways. One, they actually do have games in development for the system, but they are keeping quiet for now, which is fine, because, you know, companies like this like to announce certain games at certain points, absolutely fine. Or two, you can look at this as one of those annoying statements from another massive third-party dev who are still seemingly weighing up whether it's worth releasing more games on what is right now the hottest and fastest selling console in the world. You know, now, like you and me, I'm sure Take-Two are fully aware of the insane success of the Nintendo Switch right now, as well as the large amounts of people who are literally screaming out for a game like GTA V to come to this console. The Switch has clearly generated a completely different type of buzz amongst gamers, um, unlike the Wii and Wii U did. You know, it's, it's obvious to me that this system can support any type of software and there would be a market for it, I feel. In regards to GTA, it's, it's not even you know a, a technical issue because you know trust me, people, the Switch can run any game that was released in the previous generation on the PS3 and Xbox 360. You know it's already proved that with a number of titles. And, you know and, you know it's not a technical thing. You know is it a sales thing perhaps? You know did the sales of Ale Noir uh, not light the fires? You know because you know I'm sure the same could be said. You know about the PS4 and Xbox One sales of that game. You know, and let's be honest, no one was that interested in LA Noir, even on the PS3 and 360. You know, sure, sure they sold, and you know it, it piqued one or two interest, but you know not to the point where everyone was, you know, desperate to get this game, or even desperate to get it when it first released. You know, did the sales of WWE, you know, not light their fires? You know, well perhaps they shouldn't have released a, a, a broken game to begin with. That's just taking them absolutely an age to patch and try to fix up. You know, I, I, I just, I just don't get it at all. You know, why, why do you expect your consumers to sit back and accept trash products then mung when it doesn't perform well? Or what about NBA? You know, the, the whole issues with the, with only half the game being on the cartridge and you needed to download the other half, you know, it's craziness, I, I, I tell you, absolute craziness. Now, I, I guess I still can't understand why these big developers are acting so coy when it comes to the Nintendo Switch, you know, to the, to the point where you still need to chime the same old, we look at the install base, development costs, is it right for the platform? Blah, 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 it's very annoying. You honestly wouldn't hear it, uh, you know, when it comes to the other platforms. You, you just wouldn't. But anyway, you know, enough on that. Let's let's move on. So Nintendo finally confirmed that my Nintendo will be adding uh, Switch 
uh, in March and we can finally spend all of our unused points that we've built up since spending previous points that we earned on Wii U discounts and 3DS wallpapers and, and free games. <laughs> yeah, I certainly got my fair share of uh, Pikmin DLC and uh, 3DS wallpapers and stuff like that. You know, and to tell you the truth, it's about bloody time, you know, Nintendo brought this to the Switch, you know. I was um, I was laughing the other day uh, because uh, I had a little moan at Nintendo on Twitter you know, once they announced this because you know yes it's it's great that Nintendo offered this reward scheme you know but I also laugh at how many people you know moaned at uh, about Club Nintendo uh, which uh, was uh, much better than my Nintendo in my opinion you know but now that we have Nintendo discounts for the Switch Nintendo you know, also confirmed how much your saved up gold points will be worth and as an example if you buy a 50 pound game you will get 250 gold coins so basically one gold coin equals one pence <laughs> one pence you know, which which means next time you'll have two pound 50 discount off your next purchase you know now now listen you know, i know this is a free reward scheme and nintendo don't have to do it you know, but crap, damn! <laughs> you know, that, that's some serious cash you'll need to be spending in order to get any meaningful discount. You know, and as we know, hey man, I got five kids to be. So it'll take me an age to save up, you know, anything worthwhile. You know, but but hey, you know, like I said, it's it's free, but still, Nintendo, you know, throw throw a brother a bigger bone, you know, <laughs> stingy bastards. <laughs> You know, I, I do have a funny story from from the past to tell. Actually, you know, when I when I used to work at a game shop, any second-hand Nintendo games I got traded in, I'd rummage through the boxes <laughs> and see if there were any unspent Club Nintendo cards, you know, in there. And I take these, uh, I take those mofo's, you know, home with me and uh, <laughs> apply them to my account. <laughs> you know, but even then, you know, you needed to buy virtually every Nintendo console and handheld game to get the best stuff on Club Nintendo. You know, even then, it's still pretty. Brutal. And finally, I want to talk about what Kimishima has recently said about the Nintendo Switch Online in September, and also the 3DS and the future of Nintendo consoles from here on, uh, so to speak. You know, first let's talk about what Kimishima, president of Nintendo, had to say about the 3DS and its future, where they state that you know the 3DS continues to sell well, but they finish by saying, you know, but as for what transpires in the future, that is uncharted territory so to me it kind of sounds like they realized although they, they probably already knew this anyway that because of the switch and its hybrid nature it'll be difficult to release another handheld console currently or at least one that is completely different from the nintendo switch like the 3ds is to the switch because let's be honest who would want to own a different new nintendo handheld right now you know, especially if they had different software, which, you know, it would make no sense right now, right? So what I will say is, yes, I, I can't see that working right now. In fact, it would be batshit crazy to release a successor to the 3DS while the Switch is out right now, as hot as it is. But, you know, it, it doesn't mean that Nintendo can't go back to having two platforms on the market in the future, especially two pieces of hardware that make it easier to port many similar games to both systems. I think this generation will only have the Switch and maybe later down the line even, you know, maybe a slimmer or, you know, a more powerful version, but there's, there's, there's loads of issues with that as well I can think of in my head, but I don't want to get into that right now. But for the next generation of hardware, I wouldn't write out the possibility of two platforms again. You know, but this time they'll be interlocked in a way that only Nintendo can do that will make us fork out cash for both systems like we have in the past. <laughs> you know, time, time will tell, of course. And finally, we have Nintendo being a little bullish about the Switch Online service coming in September, stating that the next announcement about the service they believe will be worth the wait. I think right now this is important. You know, this, you know, there is so much doubt and confusion around the Switch's paid online service that Nintendo coming out and saying that the wait will be worth it will, I feel, certainly make some people feel more relaxed and even excited about what Nintendo could finally deliver. Because one thing we have to admit 
that amongst all the annoyances that Nintendo with their online systems you know had brought us in the past there has also been a lot of magic and great features like the Wii's online voting channels etc the virtual consoles the Miiverses um, the swap notes you know etc etc these great features that make Nintendo online feel so unique you know I do hope we get something like this or even just a great online service where they offer you some nice deals and make playing online with friends that bit more fun and easier you know of course we've we've all got our fingers crossed that the phone app is dead in the water <laughs> and they present uh, you know a nice system-wide features you know amongst you know other things <laughs> but you know what I'm quietly confident that Nintendo will deliver a fairly decent online system when September September rolls around I think many of us might be surprised I mean they have to right you know we'll be paying for this <laughs> we're gonna be paying for this time you know <laughs> but you know hey this is Nintendo and online you know anything can can happen and as confident as I am it's, it's once again less it's, it's just a, a way to see but you know I'm I am confident you know anyway uh, thanks all for listening if you manage to stick around to the end you know, as always, let me know your thoughts on uh, the topics I touch upon. And as always, I promise to reply to you below in the comments section. So take care all. Peace.